It's a great day for keto. My name is Liftar, and I'm bringing you today's keto tip. Welcome. Today's keto bite, which sweeteners are good for keto? There's a central, very important theme in keto, get the sugar out of the diet and out of the bloodstream. We want the first choice of the body to be to burn fat for energy. To do this, blood sugar levels have to drop, but a lot of us have a sweet tooth. Lots of us are subject to sugar cravings to the point that it's like a drug addiction. For those of us with certain genetics, and that definitely includes me, it's actually like having a drug habit. Here's the thing. It's not our fault. I know we beat ourselves up and we can't accept that it's not just because we're bad, but some things are literally out of our hands. If we have certain genetics, our bodies will scream at us for a sugar fix. To help us get through the day, many of us chase this sensation of sweet on our tongue. It gives our brain a feeling of well-being for a very short time. Then we feel bad and start craving again. It sounds just like a heroin addiction, and it acts a lot like that in our brain. Keto does allow for certain sweeteners, but only the ones that don't create a reaction in the pancreas and in the brain. Here are the sweeteners that are okay. Number one, stevia. And I recommend liquid stevia for obvious reasons. Otherwise, you're chopping up leaves and it just doesn't work. So liquid stevia, which you can buy pre-made. Pure liquid sucralose. Again, we only want to use the liquid sucralose. The powdered version is a problem. Erythritol which you know as the brand name Swerve, xylitol, monk fruit, tagatose, allulose. These sweeteners won't give you any problems, but they also don't give you the drug-like rush in your brain. So you have to get used to them. Like a lot of things on keto or anything you start new, at first it might be hard to do or you'll have problems, Eventually, you get a habit pattern, and it starts to be normal to you. Eventually, these sweeteners will feel right on your tongue, and they will seem normal to you, and you'll forget about that bad old friend of yours, sugar. And that's today's keto tip. If you enjoy these bite-sized tips, then come on over to rockthatketo.com and sign up for fabulous recipes, how-to tips, and inspirational stories of people who have lost weight or gotten healthy for the first time in their life. If you're ready to dive in and start losing serious weight, we have a foolproof 30-day plan all laid out for you. You can start losing weight today. Come on and check us out at rockthatketo.com and we'll see you next time. <music>